Anthony with Revzilla TV, and in this video we're going to detail the brand new for 2010 second generation first gear TPG Rainier, Rainier all season jacket. I'm joined here on my left by Mark Kinkart, product specialist for first gear. It's going to take me through some of the features and functionality of this jacket. Right out of the gates, Mark, talk to me about the protection from the elements and seasonality factor of this guy. Well, this is uh, basically the cream of the crop from First Gear, TPG, which stands for Technical Performance Gear. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a little tour here. It's going to take a little time, but the, the Rainier and, and actually the TPG collection is all about detail, and we have not missed any. Okay. Uh, we're going to start basically with the outer shell, breathable, waterproof on the outside where, where it counts. Uh, this jacket features a destination layer, which we're going to we're going to tear into in a little bit, but. Just looking at the jacket from the outside, it, the details will start right down at the bottom. This is what's called an auto cuff. Basically, once you set your attention to what you want to have for your wrist closure, you can simply get in and out of the jacket by opening up the expansion panel. You can also operate it with a two-way zipper to make it work like a vent. While we're down here, you'll notice we have a little key pocket down here, which uh, a lot of people use for chapstick, spare keys, uh, eye passes, whatever sure. you need to use it for. Uh, moving up the jacket, You'll notice uh, we, we feature reflective panels all throughout, arm tension straps, huge cargo pockets. This jacket actually features 11 pockets. We've got the pocket here. You'll notice they're all zippered. You've got another pocket here. You move down into this pocket. It's also zippered. In the hand warmer pocket, we have a nice feature at the bottom. There's a grommet to run your heat controller through or an iPod. While we have this open, you have tension straps so you can actually sense the jacket down around you so no air goes up the jacket. So that's just, just to start with. And yeah. another, another right. neat feature, you know, as we're still talking about the pocketing on the side here is, you know, I noticed that there's a different style of zipper down here under the arm from, and yep. it's a ventilation zip there, correct? Correct. That's called a RiRi zipper. Okay. And basically it's a, a very high-end zipper. It, it features a seal or a rubber gasket in it and that's what provides your water protection. But what's neat about the vent is we also have a vent lock system. You simply stake this vent open and pull this, it'll hold your vent open so that it allows the air to go through. And because we have waterproof outer shells, our vents go to your core. Okay. If you run to the back of the jacket, okay. those vents continue on to the back here. Now this is not a RiRi zipper, it's a standard uh, waterproof zipper. But again, reflective panel, this little loop right here is for a LED bike light. The jacket features a huge back pocket here, basically a bunny pocket or a rabbit pocket. Integrated underneath the helmet rain hood, which sure. you've seen in some other styles of the jackets. But why don't we go ahead and move into the inside a little bit. Sure, and before, actually before we do that, I see a Terramid uh -huh. panel here. What exactly is that? Terramid is used in the elbows and in the shoulders, and it's basically a Kevlar blend. So okay. what we've done is taken a very tough outer shell and added even more abrasion resistance. So reinforcement on the high impact, impact areas. So another pocket here as I zip yeah, down. There's pocket, you'll lose stuff in this. I jacket. actually wore this jacket when, when we rode in right. Colorado together and I definitely lost multiple pieces. <laughs> this jacket's been tested by you uh, in yeah, various I, ways. We'll talk I about that in a minute. I crashed in it, yes. So now we're going to move to the mid layer. And this mid layer is truly a soft shell, very nice. You have three slash pockets. And if you notice, it is also vented to match the vents on the outer shell. So you, you actually got the ability to vent the jacket without taking off the mid layer if it starts to get warm until you get to a, a stop. And, and like some of our other jackets, once you get into town, you take your outer shell off, you've got a lightweight waterproof outer sure. shell, now you've got a real nice lightweight uh, destination piece. And this outer shell contains the thermal lining of this jacket. Yes, this is windproof, it's a true three layer piece. It is micro fleeced in the back here, so it's very, very warm. And like all of our first gear jackets, it features our customer service number. We we are we are so excited about these jackets. We actually offer a two-year crash protection warranty with a TPG jacket. Nobody's doing that. If a customer purchases jackets and has a uh, accident, they simply fill out an accident report, mail it to uh, First Gear, basically, and we will replace that jacket sure. at no charge. Sure. So to really dip in, you know, we alluded to it earlier, but I actually personally have a, a decent amount of experience wearing this jacket in really two different areas that I want to touch on in this video. So in September, I flew out with Mark and we basically did four days of trail riding and road riding through the mountains of Colorado, which was just a great experience. We had a blast. But the best part about that trip was, you know, we can stand here today, I beat on this jacket. You know, we hit sleet twice, 
rained three times, we had, uh, we ascended mountain passes, we rode on dirt, and I actually crashed in the jacket on the first day. I was on a, uh, a V-Strom 650 on uh, dual sport tires, and we hit a little bit of loose gravel, and, uh, and I ended up taking a pretty big spill. But the nice part, you know, from, aside from the armor, which we're gonna get into, is what people don't realize is that you have a destination thermal layer underneath. But when it comes to the outer shell of this jacket, and if you're doing some serious adventure touring, you're gonna be, you could be riding in 75 degrees, which we were. We start to hit a 10,000 foot ascension towards a pass or a summit. And what happens is that temperature and the climate are gonna change very, very quickly. I mean, within a half hour of riding, we would go from 75 degrees all the way down to maybe the mid, low 40s, mid 30s, and we'd hit precipitation. So what's nice about this jacket is that the, and people don't realize this, the, the waterproofing and the protection is not a drop liner, it's built into the shell. So this shell, no matter what, will not pick up any precipitation, it will not get heavy, it will not get wet. So all you have to do is when things start to change is, okay, now it's getting cold, I go zip, 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 and now I've shut off the flow of air, now we see a little bit of a cloud burst or things dramatically start to change, and I'm also covered from a protection side of things from the elements. The flip side of that coin really is, you know, let's talk about the crash, sure. which uh, you had the pleasure of sending me up to that quarry to where I washed out and that was a lot of fun. You know, this jacket, it's one of two items in, is it two or three items that feature the D3O armor in the first gear collection? Just the TPG line. And okay. it would be a waist link version of this, which we'll talk about later, and then the women's jacket. So this jacket has D3O armor. And we do have another full video just on the D3O at Revzilla that you can see on our, our Revzilla TV channel. But what it is, it's a soft armor, it's very comfortable, it forms to your body, but the difference is it's a molecular level technology. So upon impact, the armor instantly becomes rigid in the shape that it's in and it's going to protect you from the shock or really lengthen that impact and disperse the energy across the armor versus transferring it to your body. Um, which, you know, at about 25 miles an hour, headed up a Rocky Mountain Pass. I ditched the bike, and I definitely got off and jumped to the I side. you landed on an elbow, didn't you? I landed on an elbow and a shoulder, and on the side, um, and I don't really even remember hitting the ground. All I know is I sprang back up, was completely fine, and then it became the embarrassment of figuring out how I was gonna get my bike up from the side of the mountain that it had fallen down. But I mean, really, I can speak to this jacket personally because I beat on it, I rode it in a myriad of conditions, and I did everything it was supposed to, and then I was actually, I, I like to tell people the story that I'm the first non-first gear employee or tester yeah. that officially crashed in this jacket you know, early this fall before it even hit the streets. You actually were, yeah. Um, so anything else that we want to touch back on, you know, the fit of this jacket, it's going to be more of a tailored fit. You know, in some of the other first gear that's a box fit, I'll wear a large. This jacket, actually, I'm an extra large. I'm 5'9", 170, but I do, I do have broad shoulders. If my shoulders weren't as broad, I'd probably be a, I'd probably be a, a large in this jacket. Um, what other pieces do we well, want to hit on, Mark? I, I really, I think, you know, just to really, again, hit home the message on the D3 armor, the, the benefit for the rider is this product literally disappears when you have it on. You really don't feel it in the jacket, and that does add a lot to the jacket because what good is a, a motorcycle jacket if sure. it's not comfortable? You're not going to wear it. And, uh, you know, these are just the beautiful jackets. They come in uh, basically four colorways. So four colorways, we're gonna have a black, we're gonna have a tan. A silver, and then a real nice red. Okay, and the women's complement is not called the Rainier, it's actually called the Monarch. Correct. And it does feature the uh, TPG, or the D3O armor. Yes. So this guy's available now, it's fall 2009, this guy's available right now at Revzilla.com. This is the new second generation TPG Rainier jacket, adventure touring, multi-season, all weather. Um, this would be definitely the three-quarter length top of the food chain within the first gear line. Absolutely. Thanks for watching Revzilla TV today. If you have any questions about this jacket or any of the other pieces in any of our lineups, you can always give us a ring at 877-792-9455 or shoot us an email at cs at revzilla.com. Thanks, Mark. Um, we hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.